On to other news now and some breaking news out of Lesotho where the Prime Minister has resigned after months of pressure over murder allegations. Thomas Tabani's coalition fell apart in Parliament last Monday and he was asked to step down by the end of this week to make way for a new government. Tabani is suspected of conspiring to murder his former wife. His current wife has been formally charged with murder. They both deny any involvement in her death. Let's speak to our regional correspondent Haru Mutasa who joins us live from Harare in Zimbabwe. This controversy Percy Haru has been going on for some time now. Prime Minister Tabane finally resigning. So what happens now? Well, he's formally handed in his resignation to King Alexi III. The king could ask him to stay on as a caretaker prime minister until a new prime minister has been sworn in. That person will likely be Finance Minister Majoro. He's 58 years old. He used to work for the IMF. He's liked by supporters of Tabani, and he's also liked by people who don't like Tabani. When it comes to the army, a political analyst said they'll likely remain neutral. Uh, they haven't really had to deal with him, and they feel that they will be willing to work with him. Uh, my daughter becomes uh, the prime minister. Um, Tabani has been saying for a couple of days now that uh, this is not a resignation. He's simply retiring because he is too old, but he's been under a lot of pressure because he's alleged to have been involved in the murder of his uh, former wife, um, and the current wife has been charged uh, right. for that. Uh, he, they both deny the allegations, so all eyes are now waiting on what's going to happen next with the court case. Right, precisely. What is going to happen with that court case involving the murder of his former wife? Well, Tabadi had approached the Constitutional Court and has asked the court saying that a sitting Prime Minister can not be charged. Uh, now that things will be different because he will no longer be Prime Minister uh, for a while, at least until the new one has been sworn in. So what is going to happen next? Some analysts say the reason why this took so long, he, he, he took so long to resign is because he was trying to buy time either to uh, organize a, a good exit package for him and also to try and make sure that he gets some kind of immunity uh, that if he is charged or well, that he won't be charged for for uh, his alleged involvement in the murder of his first wife. So all eyes will now be on the court and, of course, on the inauguration. It could be uh, either today or maybe even Wednesday or a couple of days from now. But all, all, pe all people in the city will know uh, the way forward is after the inauguration and what the Constitutional Court will do next with regards to the court case. Thank you for that. Haru Mutasa, live for us in Zimbabwe. Still ahead.